In the Dallas Independent School District, these aren't just words. They're the way that we treat our students, their parents, the general public, and, just as important, each other. When we do, we set the kind of example that we want our children, Dallas's future, to follow. At the same time, we will be creating a dynamic, enthusiastic, energetic, and caring organization that will make our life's work even more successful and meaningful. Trustworthiness. There's lawnmowers and there's weed eaters. And in a district the size of Dallas, there are a lot of them. My name is Benito Juarez. I'm lead person with the lawnmower shop with the fleet maintenance department. Benito is responsible for the maintenance and upkeep of all the district's lawnmowers, weed eaters, and tractors. 4,000 pieces of equipment in all. It's a job many people don't think a lot about, but it is very necessary to a district as large as DISD. I walk in and uh, we got three mowers to repair for the day. All of a sudden, we start getting phone calls. We get a phone call from a school, from a another department and they're way across town so I got to plan routes from one part of town to the next part of town and Dallas is a pretty big area. Benito's been working for the district for 19 years. During the last four, he's been entrusted by his supervisor Paul Burke to be responsible for a five-person shop called Fleet Maintenance. The main thing is you can do attitude. There's so many people that when you ask them to do something, they want to gripe about it and invent his attitude. Okay, no problem. I'm dedicated and loyal to my job. A lot of employees, supervisors see that in me and uh, they, they have a lot of respect for that because I'll do whatever it takes to get the job done. Building two-way communication and trust with his co-workers is essential. I go out there with the guys and I work with them. I don't ask them to do something if I haven't done it myself. I go out there in the field, they see me working, and I work with them. We're all friends, we take opinions from each other. You know, I ask them for advice, and we put it all together, and we work out a plan, and we all know what to do. So it really takes more than just one person. It's me and my co-workers. And in his daily work, Benito has found that trustworthiness on the job is something that should not be taken for granted. Advice he freely shares with others. Be trustworthy in the workplace. Come to work with a positive attitude and you'll be happy because at your workplace, that is your second family. Responsibility. As the principal of J.J. Rhodes Learning Center in South Dallas, Principal Michael Palmer okay. knows all Sounds about responsibility. Me. I'm responsible for about 650 students. I have about 85 um, employees. And uh, my primary responsibility is to ensure that every student is successful academically. We work with children every day. And you never know what those children or students are going to turn out to be. So being responsible completing your tasks, uh, being dedicated to the work is so important because we have uh, diamonds in the rough and we may turn out to have presidents, senators, uh, so you never know. So it's real important that, you go through um, the line. that you're responsible for whatever you've been assigned to do. Michael has been the principal at J.J. Rhodes Learning Center for the last four years. He wants each person affiliated with the school to understand that they are a part of a larger team focused on student achievement. Teamwork is very important because um, not one person can make the success. So teamwork being students, being uh, employees, being parents, being community members, working together is the success of the school. Many times we have different activities that occur at the school and if one person has uh, been assigned something and, and does not complete that, then the whole idea could just fall apart. The staff at J.J. Rhodes, like all DISD employees, 
take responsibility for their actions, their decisions, and statements that impact students and the general public. In addition, however, they also realize that they have been entrusted with the public's resources to do their jobs. As a result of that understanding and their teamwork, J.J. Rose is an exemplary school. I think uh, responsibility is, is critical to the success of the school. Um, we've been fortunate to, to, we're fortunate to be exemplary this year, and I think that all plays into the teamwork the responsibility that each person has. Responsibility, a commitment by each and every DISD employee to be the very best at what they do. Respect. Hello, my name is Zulema Ortiz and I'm principal at Owen Roberts Elementary School. When Zulema Ortiz became principal last year at OM Roberts, the school had had five principal in the preceding five years. Turnover among the staff was high, and O.M. Roberts was on the state's low performing list. She knew one of her first jobs would be to convince the staff to believe in her and themselves. I wanted to, the teachers to know that I respected what they had done in the past, uh, that I was here to help them turn the school around, and I saw myself more as a facilitator. I wanted them to know that their hard work in the past had not gone, you know, unnoticed. Uh, that maybe some of the reasons that the school was having some problems was basically not due to them, but maybe they hadn't gotten the support that they needed. So she immediately set up an open door policy and worked hard to create an environment based on mutual respect and shared decision making. To me, knowledge is power. Uh, and one of the things that I try to do with my staff is to show them that I respect them as professionals and I share as much information as I have. I share it with them. It empowers them to make the decisions. It empowers them to see where I'm coming from. It empowers them uh, to see things the way I see them. And hopefully our vision will be aligned and their vision will be the same as mine. I didn't come on board saying, I have the answers to all your problems. But together we're going to solve the problems. Um, and they respect that. And I respect them for having faith in me and believing in me. Hi, my name is Crystal Montgomery. I am a sixth grade reading language arts teacher here at OM Roberts. And this is my third year here. I have really noticed that the atmosphere here as far as the respect um, among my peers and among the professional staff has really changed since our new principal has come along. She has uh, not only treated us as a professional, but, but you know, pretty much as a colleague, and we appreciate that. And last year, with 13 new teachers on board, the staff pulled together, offering additional tutoring to students after school and on Saturdays. They were all rewarded when the school was removed from the list of low-performing schools. It was a struggle, it was a challenge, but I am proudest of the fact that in spite of the great number of new teachers, games were made, and I respect my staff for that. She has come in and, and changed the atmosphere here at the school, and, and that makes a big difference when you want to come in, and you want to be a teacher, and you want to um, show that your kids are learning and help in their learning process. It really, really makes a difference. I have a wonderful staff. I think we work well together because we trust each other and we respect each other. 